What is going on, you stark raving lunatics? Guys, we're talking about Terra Luna Classic, and there's a lot going on in the ecosystem. And I'm bringing you new projects all the time. I got one that we're going to talk about in just a few moments here. But before we do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And let's talk about what's going on in the ecosystem first, and then we'll look at the price action, and then we'll talk about what's going on. All right, first up, uh, the Genuine Labs, we're going to have to mention this one more time. Uh, enhanced security. Uh, here's the really kind of the bullet points though. Uh, Terra Luna Classic retraced 35% in a month. Layer one chain devs, genuine labs impose major security package upgrade. And Terra members debate plausible reasons behind Lunk's downtrend. Now look, um, plausible reasons behind Lunk downtrend. Are you not watching the charts? Bitcoin is struggling. Alts are struggling. Uh, now when I say, by the way, Bitcoin is struggling, I don't mean that it's not sitting at $70,000. I'm not saying it's struggling in that context. What I'm saying is it's struggling to get uh, headway into that next realm, if you will. You know, we're still trying to push for 77 to 80,000. That's the next leg up. 86,000, in fact, is the next leg up. However, we're just having a little problem getting to that level. We keep getting rejected around 72 to 74,000 and not able to sustain. Now, a lot of that is old time holders have been selling off. Well, According to sentiment, that's suddenly changed. They're starting to hodl again and not selling every time we peak above 70,000 into 71, 72, but there are still some selling. So you know, we'll see how this plays out. But each time we do that, it's taking away because, you know, look, the market is looking at uh, Bitcoin and wants Bitcoin to run because that money cascades its way down into the rest of this ecosystem. So the higher Bitcoin runs, the more our altcoin season will run. And that's when Luna Classic will just kind of pop off and we'll get a five or 10 X or, you know, whatever the, the, the next big move is for Luna Classic. It's coming. So that's what's really kind of going on. Uh, if you look at what's going on over here, um, th there's a proposal right here for, now it hasn't gone for, by the way, uh, governance, there isn't anything other than to establish a Terra Classic team. And guys, think about this. Uh, we, you know, we really need this. We got rid of it. But we really do need something like that to happen. It maybe should be genuine laps. That's a discussion for you guys to have. Um, however, uh, an on-chain community-owned Lunk station or station-type wallet um, to get away from Terraform Labs. Like that might be a really good thing. And there's some discussion being held about it right now. So maybe you want to check that out in Commonwealth and decide for yourself you know, whether or not that's something that you think is a great idea or not. So let's look at some price action. Let me show you what I'm seeing on the charts. And let me show you why I think it matters. Uh, in, in fact, um, I'm going to show you, uh, it'll take us a moment to get to go back just a little bit. But when we look at it, you'll kind of get an idea of uh, what the logic is on what I think is about to happen, because it's a tale as old as time, if you will. Um, it, it's happened over and over and over again, and I think it's going to happen again. So this is what the chart looks like. So, um, you know, we got this little play right here. Now, by the way, this is in a bearish sort of trend. We had a little breakout. Now we're having uh, this little bounce around sort of retest, but we're coming through uh, and we're minting higher lows, which is a good sign, uh, but we're also minting lower highs, which means there's a consolidation sort of coming. And that consolidation is probably coming right into this 1600 range. Now, you might say to yourself, we are, we're at 1300 right now. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to start to bang back up here. You see there's support right there at that 1300 level. Uh, the farther back out we go, the more you'll kind of see that lower area where we were not that long ago as, you know, an important sort of sector here. But I think 1600 becomes the new paradigm very, very shortly. You can see how much there was trending in that range and how much every time we shoot above that, how we just get rejected and come back down because there's sellers that are in this sort of range right here. Now, what does that mean overall? Well, uh, it means that most probably our takeoff point will end up being at that 16, 17 level. Uh, what it looks like would be, you know, we got another move coming and then another move is gonna be coming up here into this sort of top area, you know, 22, 24, kind of in this range somewhere. Uh, and then probably shoot back down into the 15, 1400 level. And then, you know, we're gonna continue maybe uh, just kind of, bounce around until we get that breakout moment. Um, but that breakout moment is coming. It's it's a lot closer than you guys might think. Uh, there's a lot going on in the background. And again, we're going to show some of that. And I hope you like what it is that you see. Now, the reason that I brought this up and the reason that I'm pretty confident that's how it's going to play out. 
Um, so I want to break down here and I want to go to this daily chart here for USTC. And I want you guys to see, I talked to you guys about this over and over and over and over again, right? And I told you guys that, you know, going way, way back here and um, this was what was going on. Now, what I said at the time, I took a broader approach here, but uh, what I was looking at way back when before this last breakout was this right here. Uh, we had really kind of been in this sort of uh, paradigm, which is exactly like what we're going through right now. We're minting a little bit higher lows as we go along. So it's looking a little bit like this, right? Well, what was happening was we banged up here, created that high. Then we came back up here, did it again, came back up here, did it again, came back down here, came back up, did it again. You know, we're just doing this along the way the entire time. I guess I should say we're bouncing off of this kind of range right here. It's not exact, but very close to it, right? So that's what ended up happening. So then as that happened, uh, we, were, we were doing this and then we had a breakout. Well, you know, it came down a little bit further, but eventually we got that sort of breakout move, right? We got the breakout move, but it came sideways first. Then we got the breakout um, kind of into this range. I thought this would be kind of the resistance level, and it was. But then we got this big move here. And look, this kind of took us almost up to that 10 cent range, which we were previously. And, you know, we had that sort of break. So uh, now we're looking at something like this, maybe in the long term. So I, I would say that, you know, somewhere in this little confluence area here, we probably have seven cents on USTC in the cards. Uh, that's not really the point. The point is Luna Classic doing the same thing right now. And I think that that means that we're probably going to see a nice little breakout coming pretty soon that's going to reflect that big move into this range again. I think that's the, the 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 channel that we're sort of in at the moment. And then we've got the repeg. We've got all these different things that are still happening. So I just you know pay attention to what's going on and, and you should see something fantastic. Now, as far as volume goes, we're up 2% on the day. Uh, market cap, but 25 million in volume. So uh, there's no sellers, there's just buyers with a very small, very small amount for the day. Uh, so most of the people that are coming in are are buying. Same thing, by the way, for most of the market, up 2% on USTC as well, but the volume is down another 31% to 7 million. It just means that the buyers are stepping in and that the sellers are on the sideline. So now we're going to take a quick look at Something new, something that you guys haven't seen before. By the way, don't forget, if you haven't already, sign up for Weeks. Uh, start trading on Weeks. That's where you burn a lot of tokens. All you have to do, sign up. They're going to burn their percentages, just like Binance. Uh, same thing over here. Terra Casino, doing the same thing. They're burning Luna Classic tokens all of the time. Um, and if you ever want to check that out, of course, Lunk Metrics, that's the place to do it. Uh, and then there's the Lunk Dash where you can come in and find out exactly what um, how people are voting. Uh, you can even click on these proposals and you can kind of see what's going on here. And you can see who voted yes, Interstellar Lounge and Twin Go. Uh, Lunk Swap voted no. Uh, so you can see, you know, you're going to get a line. You're going to know exactly what happens on this governance if you follow Lunk Dash. So wallet.lunkdash.com. Uh, but here's the one, and this is the big one. Welcome to Lunk Sphere. Lunk Sphere, the hub for the entire Luna Classic ecosystem, fostering innovation, unity, engagement, and growth. Now, if you've never been here before, if you never tried this before, then I urge you to come over here and check this thing out. This is, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. And um, I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. I'm not going to read the white paper and everything for you. We don't have time for that. But this platform also serves as a space for members of the Luna Classic community to connect to other community members to share ideas, chat, or meet up in their local area. In addition, it offers a cryptocurrency-focused freelance marketplace uh, connecting clients seeking crypto-related services. Uh, you have Lunksphere Premium. All you have to do, by the way, is come over here to Premium, uh, click on this, then you can sign up, attach your wallet, and you're ready to go. Uh, but it offers premium users the opportunity to search and engage with like-minded folks within the Luna Classic community. If you want to meet people in Luna Classic, then there you go. You've got it. And this right here uh, gives you a list of the new people who are signing up as members. Uh, also, uh, there's Marketplace, which is going to be launched soon. And then you have Lunk News, uh, which is uh, you'll you'll see down here. You've got 50% discount on Lunk Legendaries NFT collection. Uh, Mint Lunk Legendaries NFT collection with Raycoff. Um, which, I mean, guys, we haven't already, Jed Rakoff, you know, I don't like him. I don't, I don't like him because he's an 82-year-old old bat that's trying to keep crypto down. But there's uh, uh, there's some updates, there's some dev teams, there's some testing, stuff like that going on. Uh, and then there's events, Lunk Directory, et cetera. But the important thing is uh, when you do this, you have a thing called Lunk Meet. Uh, it's a social feature. Uh, and what it does is it'll allow you to find and connect with like-minded people 
Um, it's location based, so you can connect with other lunatics in your area effortlessly based on interest and distance from where you live. Uh, if you don't have anything in common with some other lunatic out there, then you don't have to talk to him. Uh, but if you do, then you know maybe have a nice meetup. Um, I'm in Chicago, uh, Illinois, in the United States. So, uh, guys, if you're in Chicago, Illinois, United States, uh, hit me up. I'm a lunatic myself. Uh, you can add friends, you can join and create focused or specific topics. Uh, you can seamlessly chat and experience engaged in real-time conversations with your friends and group members. Um, you can publish blogs, you can host events, you can create a professional profile. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff that you can do. Uh, and it's at the um, and you can go to um, um, if, if you want to, uh, to to get this done, you can mint on miata.io and you can certainly check that out. And then you can follow uh, Lunk. Uh, this right here, you can lunk conquerors. Um, and that's Natty Pat. That's the this is the main guy over here uh, for, for lunk sphere. Um, and I'm not following him. Ooh, we'll fix that right now. Uh, so uh, this gives you an opportunity. And um, this is Lighthouse Node, just so you guys know. And, uh, you know, guys, this is an opportunity for you to be part of this ecosystem. So I would urge you to come check out lunk sphere. And, you know, see what you like about it. There, there's a blog, there's news, events, directory, marketplace. Again, we don't have time to go over everything, but, but I mean, this is a fantastic potential ecosystem. And the more support you give, the more you sign up, the more you do, the better off this entire ecosystem becomes because we are part of uh, something special. At least, in my opinion, we're part of something special. Uh, everybody loves the comeback story. And Luna Classic, that is the comeback story. So, uh Researching crypto is so important. Guys, go to cryptonomy.finance slash research today and learn more about AI, DAOs, DeFi, gaming, layer one or layer two, uh, memes, gaming, NFTs, Web3, whatever you need to know, exploring meme coin trends. All the information is available to you. Now make sure you sign up as a VIP or a pro member. Look at my fixed deposits, guys. You can see right now, I just put in another three ETH that I'm holding until April 5 of 2025. Let me show you the details here. So at the end of this, my scheduled interest is going to be 3.23 Ethereum. So I'm running three Ethereum for letting them hold on to it for one year as a staking process. I anticipate a fantastic payout from this. But guys, the big money is made over here on the launch pool. Make sure that you're checking it out. I'm a bronze member. Remember, I put in about 0.48 Bitcoin with an expected rate of return of 1 to 5x. I'm taking a risk here. If I only get a 1x, I, you know... I think I'll still be fine. But uh, as you can see right now, I've already accumulated 83,691 USDT for my efforts so far. How much Bitcoin is that? It's quite a bit. Go to cryptonomy.finance today and earn for yourself. If you like this type of content, guys, I'm going to keep putting this out. I'm going to give you new and, and different stuff. But the important thing is that you engage with this stuff. Go to Weeks, sign up for Weeks, go to Terra Casino, sign up for Terra Casino. Go to Lunk Sphere. Uh, sign up for Lunk Sphere. Use Lunk Burn metrics uh, in in case you want to. Remember, we did the LBUN project yesterday. We did Teratridium. We did um, I think Lunk metrics. If we didn't, then we're doing Lunk metrics pretty soon. Uh, Galactic Shift. We looked at that one already. Uh, we've got a couple of games. We got Food that we did the other day, um, and we're going to talk about Terraport at some point pretty soon. So uh, and and Terraport. I mean, that's um, that that's a, a pretty good platform so far. Uh, Terraport.finance uh, if you want to trade. And and I do my trading over there. I trade my Lenny over there. As a matter of fact, Lenny, the first meme coin uh, in the, the Lunk sphere before Rakeoff came out. Rakeoff is doing the same thing. So guys, if you're excited about the Lunk ecosystem, then ta-da. Uh, there's a lot going on that you just don't see. So and now that you see it, do something about it, lunatic. Anyway, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.